Hey, what's going on everybody? This video we're going to be talking about the bool data type. Bool is short for boolean, which really is just true or false. Now before we go into the details of what this is, I want you to check out our sponsor Embarcadero C++ Builder Community Edition. The Community Edition of C++ Builder is a completely free IDE that's going to give you all the tools you need to develop in C++. On top of this, it has really good UI development tools, so you can drag and drop components. You can get pixel perfect designs that are responsive for different device sizes, and you can ultimately deploy to four different platforms, iOS, Android, Mac, and Windows. So it's a pretty beast application, check it out. I'll leave a link for you guys in the description. So the way we create a bool is very simple. Then you can make a statement essentially, and you can set it to true or false. Now these are keywords, so you don't have to put them in quotes or anything, you just put them as is. So obviously this is gonna be true because pizza is life. And if you disagree, you can reassign the value false, like so. But obviously no one's gonna do that. So we'll just leave it as true. So it's important to understand there is a conversion between bools and numbers. So for example, we can go in here and put the value one, which generally means true. Alternatively, we could put zero, which means false. Well, actually, it's a little bit more than that. Zero is false and anything else is considered true. So even negative one is considered true. So if we see out this variable, what we're going to get is one. So that's a little bit confusing. We assign the value negative one and it outputs the value one. Well, that's because negative one is considered true and true is represented by one. So no matter what we put in here, it's always going to output one as long as we don't put the value zero. So if we go in here and put the value zero, you'll see that output zero. Cool beans. So what exactly is the purpose of a Boolean variable? Well, you can often use it as a flag. So for example, what do I mean by flag? I mean something that indicates something. So usually you can do this for something like a search. So you could have bool found equals zero, and then you could have some kind of search algorithm. And basically inside here, if found, they'll set found to one or true. I generally like to use the keywords, so I like to, to do false and true. So basically you can use it as a flag to indicate if something happened throughout an algorithm. Booleans will also come up a lot more once we start talking about logic with if statements. That's gonna be fun because basically everything can evaluate to true or false inside of an if statement expression. So just to show you guys that real simple, it might look something like this. So in this scenario, this is always going to run, but later on we're going to deal with code where there's some kind of condition in here and it only executes sometimes. So that's gonna be fun, look forward to that, we'll be talking about that really soon. But for now, we're just gonna worry about the bool data type. So that's pretty much all with the Boolean data type. There is one thing I can think of that might be more useful to you, and that is how do we actually get it to output true or false rather than just one or zero. So here we are outputting found, and you can see it outputs as zero. But let's say I want this to say false. Well, we can do that with what's known as a manipulator. No, I'm not talking about your X. I'm talking about this thing here. This N to L is an example of a manipulator. This is just one of many manipulators. Another one allows us to change this from saying zero to false. So as a reminder, these are part of the standard namespace. So you have the option of putting a using namespace STD up here, and then you wouldn't have to prefix anything inside of the standard namespace. Or you can be a little bit more restrictive and just put the using for things you're going to be using very often. Either way is fine, but the upcoming manipulator is part of the standard namespace, so you're going to want to prefix it with standard as well. So the way we do this is we just pass it in before we output any Boolean values. And you just put standard colon colon bool alpha, like so. And then you're going to put another arrow before the next section of the C out. So when we save this and run now, you can see it says false. So that is the easiest way to print false. Alternatively, you can use an if statement. So I'm not gonna really explain this a ton in this video, but you can say something like if found, and then output, this is true. So in this case, let's say bool is true, then you could output it this way. Uh, shoot, I gotta put a C out there, there we go. And there we say true. So if you wanted to say true or false, then you'll need to use an else clause. But the easiest thing to do is just use the standard bool alpha. So that's all I got for the Boolean data type. It's pretty, pretty cool, it's uh, quite logical. Yeah, 
logical is about the best adjective I can come up with. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And in case you're wondering what we're going to be talking about, we're going to be start talking about floating point data types and a little bit more on those in depth. So check it out and be sure to subscribe.